Hello everyone! For today's video I thought I would film a what I eat in a day. I love watching these videos because it gives me so many ideas for breakfast, lunch and dinner and snacks and everything and I love getting new ideas and I love cooking and I love food so I thought, you know, why not film one of these videos? So if you want to see what I eat in a day then keep on watching. For breakfast I'm having porridge with cashew butter, banana and coconut flakes. I love this Flavin's porridge, it's my favourite, I think it's the nicest, so I have two scoops of this with four scoops of milk. I then pop this in the microwave for two minutes. While that's in the microwave, I like to chop up my banana. Once that's done, it's normally time for the porridge to come out and I give it a little mix before adding my cashew butter and I love this one from Meridian, it's my favourite cashew butter and I add two spoons to it and mix it all together. Then I add my banana before sprinkling a few coconut flakes on the top. without a cup of tea so I make myself a cup of tea I have one sugar and I do have my tea quite weak <laughs> as always with a chorizo and mozzarella sandwich with mini cheddars. Now I have this rustic bread which is so nice, it's similar to ciabatta and I absolutely love it for sandwiches. I'm then using clover which is the butter I always buy. After this it's time to add the chorizo and cut up the mozzarella and then I just like to cut it in half and then it's done. recently so that's what I'm going to have with it and then I'm going to make myself another cup of tea. another cup of tea because I love my teas with this cheese twist and I love this it's just pastry and cheese and it tastes so good then for dinner I made a chicken casserole so I was cutting up the onion because I hate cutting up onions they make my eyes water so Aaron's gonna cut up the onion and I'm gonna add this to the pan with some oil I'm 
adding a leek, so I'm just cutting the ends off and then chopping them into small pieces. Then this goes in the pan with the onion and oil, and I cook this for about five minutes before adding everything else. potatoes and I like to cut these into small chunks and I like to keep the skin on these and then I'm also going to add some mushrooms so I just like cutting off the stalk and then cutting them in half. Although some of these mushrooms are quite big so some of them are cut into thirds and then I just mix that all together and then once I've mixed that I just add the chicken breast fillets. Together, I'm going to take a vegetable oxo cube and I'm just going to crumble this into my jug and I'm going to add 300 ml of water then this is going to be added to the casserole After about 5-10 minutes I added a tin of chopped tomatoes and mixed this all together. I put the lid half on the casserole pot and let it simmer on a low heat for 40 minutes. Give it a quick mix together before dishing up. snack after dinner I had another one of these cheese twists because I love them at the moment with a cup of tea. Then I always have a bedtime snack which I tend to take upstairs to bed and I'm using these PG Tips Red Berries teas. I love these and I try to have one of these in the evening. I just find it a lot nicer than having an ordinary tea before bed. I leave that for 4 to 5 minutes and then I'm going to have some minstrels as well because I love having a little bit of chocolate in the evening. I hope you enjoyed this video, give this a thumbs up if you did and I can always do another one of these. I quite enjoyed filming it, I hope you liked it. So you can subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! In today's video I'm going to be talking about driving. So I'm going to be talking about my driving experience, how long it took me to learn to drive, how I learned, and just everything like that.